Hello heroes and villains! Today we will take a look at the Legion of Superheroes. So let's get this party started. I've been toying with the idea of making a Legion of Superheroes videos. I even someone asked for a, a Monel video and I told them that uh, it was coming in this video. But uh, now we got the announcement that the next DLC will be a Legion of Superhero DLC. I, I strongly hope that we will get a Legion of Superhero emblem, but uh, you never know. Maybe we won't. We'll have to wait and see for that. But then I did, decided to recreate... Uh, I won't recreate every Legion members, but I'll try to recreate a whole bunch of them. And I'll try to create uh, at least a couple of costumes for each of them, at least if I can. So let us get started with our friend Lightning Lad. We can recreate a pretty, a pretty darn good version of the, the original version of Lightning Lad from the Legion of Superheroes. So you can see him using uh, the Lightning Bolt emblems. Uh, those were pretty much perfect for that. The Slimline chest piece, the Magic's Champion Bracers, the Techno Belt, the New Genesis Pants, the Nuclear Boots, and the Short Cape. And of course I'm using the Youthful Skin. I'm not sure if I'll use it for all of them, but um, in this case that's what I'm using. Uh, the hairstyle is the Constantine hairstyle, where there's a handful of hairstyle you could use if you want to. So this is pretty darn close to the original uh, Lightning Lad from the Legion of Super Superhero comics. And then eventually we got something that looks pretty much like this. And it's fairly easy to recreate using uh, the electric uh, chest piece, the two color slimline pants. Again, I'm using the nuclear boots, but there's other boots you could use. And I'm using the ironout gloves. You probably could use uh, other gloves as well. This is pretty much the look that the character had for quite a long time. Either he had this look or he had a look pretty much inspired by this look. Whenever they would try to give him a new design, they were trying to stay fairly close to this look. There is also a version that they redesigned for the, the Jeff Jones uh, just, uh, Legion of Spiro run in, uh, I think it was in Action Comics or the Superman Comics, I forget. Uh, sadly, that I, I wasn't able to reproduce that look. And also there's the uh, the Brian Bendis look that uh, the Brian Bendis uh, Legion of Superheroes that uh, there's no way I can reproduce that look either. And at some point our friend uh, Lightning Lad ended up with a robotic arm. This looks nothing like the arm that uh, Lightning Lad had, but it gives the idea it it still uh, it helps to recreate the essence of the idea behind uh, the character losing an arm and being replaced with the with a robotic arm if it makes any sense. So obviously I had to make a version with a robotic arm. I had to, I had no choice. And then we have Mon-El. At first he was introduced as uh, the older version of the, the brother of Superman, which is why he's called El, as a uh, uh, Kal-El Mon-El. But then it was revealed that uh, because it was uh, like uh, he had amnesia or something like that and he landed on, uh, on Earth. So Superman naturally thought somehow that it was his older brother but it turns out that uh, he was actually from Daxam. Not sure why he kept the name uh, Monel. Uh, his story was, was became a bit convoluted as time went by, but we can create a pretty good version of the classic version of Monel using uh, the Abracadabra chest piece, the Magic's Champion the shoulders, the classic cape, the New Genesis pants, the Retro Tech belt, uh, the Techno belt, sorry, and the nuclear boots. Uh, and at the end of the day, the colors is pretty much a reverse uh, Superman. Whatever is the blue for Superman is red for Monel, and vice versa. He kind of had his uh, classic uh, costume for quite a long time, but eventually he got his own series, so they had to upgrade uh, his costume. And of course, at the time it was the 90s, so they had to give him pouches. They had to. It was a. Uh, it was in their contract, I guess. And also, uh, here I was able to use the golden material for the, the gloves and the boots. I'm also using the Battle Hawk for the gloves and the boots. The belt is the Vengeance belt. There's probably a handful of belts I could have used. And the chest piece is the M suit. And the pants are the two colored slimline. Of course, the black part should have some stars in it. If we could have like a, a cosmic material for that bit, that would be perfect. But sadly, within the context of uh, DC Universe Online, uh, this is pretty darn close. One of the variations they gave him was at some point he had uh, like the Superman emblem, but like a bit off uh, to, the to the left. Uh, it should be a slimline chest piece. Somehow it doesn't work too well here. Uh, let's try to find a better option. Uh, it's a bit better, but not really. 
And here we have Cosmic Boy. Uh, sadly, this is about as close to Cosmic Boy as I was able to get. He has those sort of weird uh, circles at the top of his costume, which uh, this is about as close as I was able to reproduce those uh, circles. And uh, there's uh, quite a few variations, but uh, pretty much this is pretty much the, the template or the basis of his of his look. But there's a whole bunch of variations. I'll try to show one or two. I won't show them all because it's pretty much uh, the similar a similar costume, but with with just uh, tiny variations. And this is probably one version that pretty much re uh, suggests or encompasses a whole bunch of different uh, Cosmic Boy costumes. I went with the purple version, but there's a whole bunch of uh, pink-like versions that uh, were used uh, throughout the years. There is a version that kind of looked like that. Uh, I think it was around the time of Legions of uh, Three Worlds. Or maybe around the time also of uh, Jeff Jones on uh, Action Comics. It's not exactly it, but it's close enough that uh, people would understand that this is Cosmic Boy from roughly the mid-2000. I guess this could almost work to reproduce a version of a Cosmic Boy, but uh, the, the white thing on the gloves is way too long. It should be much smaller and just at the end of the gloves. Uh, let's see if I can find some better gloves. Uh, it's not really it, but it's as close as I was able to get. So sadly, to try to reproduce an accurate version of our friend the Cosmic Boy is a little uh, challenging to say the least. And I guess this is about as close to his uh, classic look as I was able to get. His original look, I should say. Again, it's not exactly it, but uh, with the styles we have in this Universal 9, this is as close as I was able to get. And sadly, with the new Genesis pants, there's a bit of uh, there's a tint and the short parts of the pants so sadly it's not possible to get a, a really white version of those uh, of those shorty shorts it's sad but that's how it is not sure why they put a tent in there not sure why we cannot get a nice white pair of shorts oh well and next uh, we have Saturn girl uh, sadly we can't exactly recreate the original Saturn girl costume because they had sort of a, a skirt over some sort of pants way back when. And uh, right now, either we give her a, a skirt or we give her full pants, but getting a mixture of the two. The options I would find would be something like uh, Amazon Uplight. And uh, thanks to the textures on the skirt, uh, I would never use that. So we can recreate a pretty good version of Saturn Girl, although we have to use the Flash Emblem. It's the closest we have that kind of looks like a, an emblem for Saturn Girl. Uh, we still use the aeronaut gloves, we use the peaked boots. Uh, for the pants, any slimline pants will do the trick. Or you could use the skirt, you decide. Here I'm using the Vesture of Proselyte uh, belt. And for the chest piece, I'm using the T slimline uh, chest piece. She had a lot of variations for her costume, but usually it was uh, a variation on the classic costume that she had for pretty much forever. At some point, I replaced the red of her costume with pink which lasted uh, for quite a while, but later on she went back to her red costume. Uh, this year is about as close to her redesign she got in the 70s as I was able to get. So the formal, the tie height boots uh, is what I use, the formal gloves, the reverse slimline uh, pants, the power chest piece, and uh, that's pretty much the closest I could come to recreating uh, Saturn Girl from the 70s. And here we have our friend uh, Brainiac 5. For Brainiac 5, you pretty much need a jumpsuit, a pair of boots, and a belt with a whole bunch of pouches. And you pretty much have your Brainiac 5. Here for the chest piece, I'm using the Star X uh, chest piece, but there's a handful of chest pieces that could do the trick. For the pants, the cargo pants work uh, well enough. You shouldn't have pouches on the side with the pants, but that's a minor nitpick. The same with the boots, like the boots shouldn't have uh, belt buckles like that. But uh, I tried to use the Gadgeteer boots, and there was some uh, some textures within the Gadgeteer, gadgeteer boots. So uh, for the hairstyle, it's not quite the hairstyle that you should have, but uh, again, it's the closest I could find. There was this version later on uh, with uh, what was known as the Legionnaires. Uh, it was basically clones of the Legion of Superheroes. Uh, they lasted for a bit, but uh, they didn't last all that long. I think uh, they pretty much disappeared with uh, Zero Hour, if I recall correctly. And this is fairly close to what the character did look like. 
And then there was this version that was pretty much the classic version of the costume. Although here I'm using the Gachi 3 boots because he did have some sort of a texture at the end of the boots. And he had some uh, some long hair. Uh, for the coat, uh, uh, that's not exactly it. Uh, let's see if I can find uh, something a bit better. And the trench coat seems to be a slightly better option. Although we're losing, we don't have the belt anymore. So I'd like to keep the belt. I guess the gunslinger would be the better option. Uh, sadly, we still don't have the belt. Oh well. And next we have Dream Girl. Yeah, she shouldn't have the chest window, but uh, I couldn't find a chest piece that actually did the trick. So I had to settle for that one. And also I'm using the steel neon chromo material to give us some nice uh, shiny style. Because also, the, sadly, the texture between the chest piece and the pants didn't really match. So the material kind of solves that problem. So it's a fairly close version of a classic version of Dream Girl within this universe online. And next we have a Shadow Last. Strangely enough, I was able to reuse pretty much everything I used with uh, Dream Girl. I just had to put everything black and add the classic cape. Uh, she had some sort of a tiara. Uh, sadly, I could not reproduce that tiara. There was also a more revealing version of his costume a bit later on, uh, but I. I couldn't find the styles to be able to reproduce that either. And then she ended up with a much uh, much more covered version of her costume, although she still had some openings that would reveal some uh, some skinny bits, I guess you could say. So pretty much any slimline pants would do their trick, and there's a handful of uh, slimline chest piece. Although here I'm using the Urban Slick. And this the Necromancer could do the trick, maybe be a little too revealing. Uh, the heart of the predator could be an option at some point she had a few variations on this costume at some point it was a bit uh, a bit more revealing and also there was the color that she had which uh, kind of works with this style and then at some point she had a variation on that costume but uh, she was back with uh, longer hair we can create a pretty darn good version of our friend wildfire uh, there's a few headpieces we can use i'll show them to you in just a minute uh, this is pretty darn close to the classic version of the character. Uh, the star should probably be yellow, but there's uh, on the costume there's like uh, some sort of wings behind the stars, which allows us to be able to put it yellow and have some sort of contrast. Not really an option here in this case. And uh, there should there's uh, some texture built into the gloves. Uh, sadly, that cannot be helped. But aside from that, it's pretty darn close to the classic version of the character. The character didn't really have a fire aura, but yeah, if you have the, the scorching aura, yeah, you have to use it. Y you have to. And for the headpiece, uh, let's take a look at a few options. Technically, I'm using the visitor's uh, headpiece, but there's quite a few headpieces that could be used. Of course, there's always the enhanced version of the visitor style as well. Uh, there's the starburst, but there's a version that doesn't have like the, the wing and the, the star. Uh, let's, let's go a bit further. The gas protection would be a good option. The triface would be an option. There's the space fair. There's also the Department of Corrections. And then at some point, they decided to get rid of the headpiece. The costume stayed more or less similar, although they, they changed the, the color scheme a bit. They it was the same colors, but they rearranged the colors differently on the costume. And of course, he didn't have a helmet anymore. Like for a long time, his suit was a containment suit that would basically contained whatever energy was made of but uh, I forget the details of the story at some point they made it so that did not, he did not need a suit anymore but then of course this being comics at some point in time someone decided to change it again and he was back in the costume later on he had quite a few armors although it's hard to tell sometimes if it was supposed to be a, a different armor or a, a different artistic interpretation of his armor but this is pretty uh, fairly close to uh, one of the look he had, at least for a while. So we can recreate a pretty good version of either the classic uh, Wildfire character or one of his more later incarnation. And next we have Dawnstar. I was able to recreate a fairly good version of Dawnstar using uh, the Valiant Warrior uh, headpiece, the Necromancer chestpiece. 
pretty sure I'm going to mess it up. So Vesture of Proselyte. Uh, for the boots, I had to settle with the peak boots. Uh, I couldn't find a pair of boots that uh, looked like what uh, Dawnstar was using. But for the back piece, I'm using the Glimmer Wings. There's probably a handful of wings I could have used. Uh, I have a video about wings. If you're searching my video for wings, you'll see a, a handful of options you could use. For the Glimmer Wings, it is a free gift we got for the Extra Life event last year. So, uh, Friday, Saturday, I forget, November 7th, we should be able to get the Glimmer Wings once more. So, if you already have the Glimmer Wings, it doesn't really matter. But if you, if you don't have the Glimmer Wings, uh, log in November 7th. Or you should be able to get them if you did not get them before. And next we will take a look at Feral Lad. I can't explain it, but this is probably one of my favorite Legionnaire. Even though ironically enough, the very first time I saw the character was uh, in the special issue with the, 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 the wedding of uh, Lightning Lad and uh, Saturn Girl. And there was an old, old addendum at the end where they would show a whole bunch of legionnaires and they showed at the time Feral Lad was one of the three fallen legionnaires. I think the other one was an invisible kid and I forget who the third one was. And that is where I first saw the character and then of course I had to look up uh, some of his earlier appearances which uh, wasn't much. He was uh, barely in the legion for a short while before he was uh, sadly uh, passed. And here we can create a pretty spot on version of our friend uh, Feral Lad. The only ex exception is the boots. The nuclear boots would probably be better, but I, I wasn't able to be able to get the boots only one color. Uh, ideally, if I could have like a fourth material, I would have used the blue metallic material for the boots. Uh, sadly, wasn't really an option, so I went with the tall classic boots instead. Uh, I'm using three materials. I'm using the steel neon chroma material for the headpiece, the blue metallic material, the blue metallic chroma material for the chest piece, the pants, and the boots. And I'm using the red metallic material for the belt and the bracers. Uh, the chest piece is the slimline chest piece. The pants are the new genesis. And the boots are the tall classic. The bracers are the magic's champion. And the headpiece is the classic tech piece. And the belt is the Egyptian belt. So with all of that, and of course the F emblem. So it gives us a pretty darn good version of our friend the Feral Lad in this universe online. And then later on, there was a new Invisible Kid. Uh, I first saw him within the pages of uh, the Great Darkness Saga. And this is fairly close to the look he had at the time. He had some sort of uh, yellow jumpsuit with some uh, black bars all over. Here I'm using the triangle chest piece, the Aeronaut gloves, the Battle Hawk pants. I had to use uh, the nuclear boots to cover the, the pants. Like they, Normally just the pants should have been enough. But uh, sadly, the pants uh, didn't have any, uh, didn't cover the feet, so I had to cover the feet using some boots. And this gives us a pretty good approximation of our friend the Invisible Kid within the Legion of Superheroes. That gave him some sort of a white stripe on top of his, of his uh, hairstyle. Uh, sadly, I wasn't able to reproduce that within this universe online. Also, they had made him uh, a French uh, character. Which was always a bit uh, painful. Uh, sadly, within comics or even within movies or TV shows, very often writers are n don't know m don't know many languages. Sometimes they'll try to have characters of different languages within their stories, and they just don't speak the language. So the dialogues are, let's say, messed up. Uh, the best example I can think of is Captain America: The Winter Soldier. In The Winter Soldier, you have this character who is supposed to be uh, Batroc the Leaper. Uh, he's supposed to be a French uh, expert of the savate, and uh, they use a, a guy from Quebec. Uh, the the dialect from Quebec is as different from France as the dialect from uh, Americans compared to British. So imagine if you had. A movie where uh, in order to play an American actor, someone decided to use a British actor and the British actor will also would also speak in his British accent. That is pretty much what happened in uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Yes, technically the character Batroc spoke French, but he spoke French from Quebec as opposed to speaking French from France. So very often you'll see uh, you'll see actors and characters who are supposed to speak another language. Uh, failed miserably. Another example of that would be uh, Gambit. Gambit in the comics, holy crap, reading his dialogues way back when was painful. Obviously, someone who doesn't know the, the, the French language 
does it matter? I guess it kind of sort of lo sounds or looks like French to, to someone who doesn't know it. But when you actually know the language, uh, not a good, uh, it's not a good thing. And sadly, the same was true with our friend uh, Invisible Kid. Whenever they would try to have him speak French or, or have some French, uh, uh, some French addition to his dialogue, it was, uh, it, it was not a good thing. And next we have Starboy. Uh, Starboy uh, Star had quite a few looks and went th quite through uh, a lot of changes. Uh, but I'm going to try to cover only the main, uh, the main costumes he had. Uh, this is pretty much his first appearance, the costume he had during his first appearance. Here you need uh, the Magic's Champion uh, shoulders to get the, uh, the buckle uh, that holds the, the, the cape. Uh, obviously the Star Emblem. For the chest piece, any Slim Line chest uh, will do the trick. The new Genesis pants. Again, the, uh, the nuclear boots, the Aru Ronald gloves, and the classic cape. A lot of classic costumes uh, were pretty much using those elements. For the belt, I went with the Amazon Uplight, but I covered it with the opalescent material. I also covered uh, the Magic's Champion with the opalescent material to get a nice, uh, let's say a nicer white, because sadly there was some, uh, some built-in texture into uh, the Amazon Uplight, so the only way to get rid of those textures was to use a material. And then, uh, I think it was during the, the pages of uh, Kingdom Come, he was given a costume that was uh, basically the cosmic material. Uh, sadly, I had to use the domino face mask in order to be able to get the eyes of the character, otherwise we would not have the eyes. So basically he's using uh, some slim line styles with the cosmic material on it, and some white gloves, some white boots, and again I had to use the domino mask to be able to get the eyes of the character. Otherwise this is what the character ends up looking like if you don't have a mask. And then at some point he had pretty much the same look without a mask. And sometimes they would give him a beard. I guess the artist at the time decided that he would look better with a beard. And then at some point, I, I think it was after Zero Hour, they give him a look uh, not unlike this one. Not sure how long this look uh, lasted, because later on it was replaced with a, a cosmic material looking uh, costume. For the chest piece, I'm using the Chevron the chest piece, the two color slimline pants, the vengeance belt, of course, at that time, they had to give uh, pouches to everyone. They had to. Uh, for the bracers, I went with the Sinistro bracers. But I'm using the Golden Neon Chromo material. And uh, I cheated. To, I tried to get the, the colors of the hands uh, as close to flesh color as I could. Uh, for the boots, I'm using the Nuclear Boots. Again, I'm using the Golden Neon Chromo material in the boots. And then at some point it would seem that they swapped, uh, they race swapped our friend uh, Starboy. Uh, here I'm using the reverse uh, slimline chest piece and pants. Again, the Ironaut gloves, the high density tactical belt, uh, no boots, the classic cape, and uh, the Manhunter emblem. I hope that it would, uh, I, it's not exactly it, but it's as close as I was able to get within the context of uh, this universe online. Uh, if if, this, if the, the emblem could have been a bit lower and a bit bigger, it might have worked. But sadly, within the context of DC Row, sometimes you do what you can. And next we have our friend uh, Timberwolf. He pretty much started uh, like this. He was, uh, I guess, a pretty generic uh, character uh, at first. So it's easy enough to just use the uh, new Genesis pants, pretty much any slimline chest piece. The Vixen emblem uh, works well with this, uh, this character. The nuclear boots again. Uh, I went with the Battle Hawk, uh, the NS version of the Battle Hawk uh, belt, but the other, the regular version would work as well. So this is fairly close to our friend uh, Timberwolf as he first appeared. And then in the 70s, uh, Mike Grell redesigned the costume. I think it was Mike Grell or could have been Dave Cockrum. It's been a while, uh, it's been a long time, I kind of forget. Uh, I remember Mike Grell drawing uh, this costume uh, quite a lot, but it could have been redesigned by Kate Dave Cockrum. And uh, it's simple enough to recreate uh, using the reverse uh, slimline uh, chest piece, still the new Genesis pants, still the Battle Hawk uh, belt, still the nuclear boots, and the Ironaut gloves, and the Vixen emblem. And the one thing that really sells this look is the Ra's al Ghul hairstyle. So as soon as you get the hairstyle, uh, for the, the rest of the costume, it could be a tiny bit different. The hairstyle is really what sells uh, this look. And next we have uh, Tyrock. I can't explain it, but I have always loved uh, this character. 
at least uh, I'm mostly familiar with the version from the 70s. At some point, they did what they always tried to do. They tried to modernize the character, and they changed uh, pretty much uh, a lot of things about the character that made him uh, stand out or unique. So I, I guess they would pretty much kill the, the character when they did that. Although it might be also, I have a big, uh, a big affection for Afro. I can't explain it. When I was a young man, I had the uh, hair as strong as steel wool, and I, I actually had quite a big afro at some point. I uh, said I wasn't able to exactly reproduce the look of our friend Tyrock. This is as close as I was able to get using the Magic Champion uh, bracelet, the Aqualad the chest piece, the Elemental Android uh, belt, the brief, and the Santa's little helper feet. Uh, these feet are also great to be able to reproduce uh, a Robin, a classic Robin character. For the chest piece, that's not exactly it, but uh, it's the less bad option I could find. And of course, in order to be able to get some nice white everywhere without any textures, I'm using the opalescent material. Next, we have our friend the Colossal Boy. Uh, sadly, we don't have any growing, uh, growing or shrinking powers in this universe online, but we can still make a somewhat good version of Colossal Boy. And this is close enough to how he looked uh, in his first appearance. Uh, I'm using the Aeronaut uh, chest piece, the classic gloves, uh, the Psycho Jester belt, the reverse uh, slimline pants, and the uh, Stalwart Defender boots. So using all that, uh, we have a somewhat good version of our friend uh, Colossal Boy. And for most of the time that I knew the character, uh, this is more or less uh, how he looked. It's not exactly it, but it's uh, as close as I was able to get. Again, I was using the Slimline chest piece, New Genesis pants, the clean cuffed boots, the DC Bombshell Harley Quinn gloves, the Gorgon Slayer belt, and the Shepherd of Adora shoulders, and the Dashing Crusader headpiece, and the Bird Totem emblem. Somehow he had a little bird-like uh, symbol on his chest. It should have like uh, two straps that create like, some sort of, uh, actually three straps that create some sort of Y on the chest piece. Uh, sadly, within the context of DCO, uh, this is about as close to the look of the character as I was able to get. So it's not exactly it, but if you were to call it the uh, Colossal Lad or something like that, uh, people would know which character you're, you've recreated. And then they gave him a drastic costume change by pretty much just inverting the colors. They tweaked a few details here and there, but it was pretty much the same costume, just with uh, reverse colors, basically. Sometimes you have to wonder, what were they thinking? I guess somebody was trying to put their stamp on the character, or and somehow maybe they just didn't like the costume and tried to freshen it up by just uh, changing the colors around. But anyway, so for a while, uh, this is what he pretty much looked like. And eventually they inverted the colors again, and he was almost back to his, uh, his old usual self. I guess one of the designs behind the change was to get rid of the short shorts. It's something that uh, a lot of people have been obsessing about for a long time. Uh, they seem to have a hard time accepting that uh, some superhero costumes have some shorts on the outside, as they say. Oh well. And next we have our friend the Sun Boy. We can create a pretty good version of Sun Boy with the Sun Emblem. The Street Slim Lion the chest piece, the new Genesis pants, the, the nuclear boots. The Trim Classic Gloves, and the Shepherd of Adara uh, Shoulders, and the Clasped Belt. Of course, I had to use the Scorching Aura because I had to. And I'm also using the Fury High Style. I had quite a few costume uh, changes throughout the years, but most of the time it was just a variation on this look. So I'm only going to show this costume, but I will show a variation or two with materials. And here I'm using the scorching material, the, the scorching chroma material. It's not the best option, I'll show another option in just a minute. But if you happen to have this material, yeah, you could use it to try to recreate a cool looking uh, sun boy. But the better option would be to use the forge metal chroma one and the forge metal material. And it gives us an even cooler version of sun boy. I had to use the slimline chest piece in this case, but Either way, it's probably the better option of Sunboy I was able to create so far. And I almost forgot Supergirl. We have to remember that she was part of the Legion of Superheroes. 
for the look it was simple enough i'm just using a t-shirt a skirt the stalwin defender belt the supergirl official boots the house of l cape and for the material i'm using the caregiver chromo material again november 7th if you did not get the caregiver chromo material last year you should be able to get it again this year of course there's other materials you could use if you have the blue uh, metallic chromo material or the blue metallic material you could use those as well uh, sadly for the superman emblem obviously it's no longer available so for people who don't have the superman emblem here's an alternative so if you don't have the superman emblem the fallen god the chest piece would do the trick and here i'm using the red royal chromo material you can use it for the cape for the skirt and i think i've used it for the boots as well uh, for the boots i had to use uh, the stalwart defender boots in order to apply the material if i wanted to have the boots only one color and also for the belt, I'm also use, using uh, the Fallen God uh, belt style. And for our little drone friend here, it's also part, it also was a free gift from the Extra Life event. So if you did not claim it last year, you should be able to claim it this year starting November 7th. And last but not least, Superboy. Yes, this is my Superboy Prime uh, character, but it will do for my Legion of Superhero video. There's probably a couple more I could have added, but uh, it's been a long video so far, and it's been, uh, let's say, uh, it took a long time to put all these together. So our next DLC will be a Legion of Superhero DLC. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's going to come out tomorrow, November 5th, but odds are, for a lot of you guys, by the time you watch these videos, the DLC will probably be released already. We should have uh, at least some new styles to be able to create uh, our favorite legionnaires and we should be able to have a whole bunch of base items to be able to create ourselves a legion of superhero inspired base if we want to obviously i will try to cover as many items as i can once the dlc goes live if you have any questions feel free to ask so in the comment section down below and also what i can do about answering your questions i have roughly 2000 videos about this universe online at this point so if i don't answer a question right away just search in my videos odds are i already made a video that answered your question or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now Bye bye